If you have a bunch of people are standing here, he'll he'll go to me because he knows that I'm the one that you know takes care of him and feeds him. Or if I call him from the front, he'll listen to make sure it's a voice he knows. My name is Laurie Thompson and I am the assistant curator of Giant Pandas and I have been here for 25 years. When Bebe was born, Bebe was a twin and we don't know if he was the firstborn or the second one. Bebe just coincidentally was the one that we were able to retrieve and we know that because he was the larger cub. Um, and then I was able to hold him during the first exam which is kind of exciting because I've never held a panda that was less than a day old. <laughs> and he was, you know, squawking and making a lot of noise. So I was trying to figure out how to hold him to keep him calm and um, the whole time going, I'm holding a panda cub. <laughs> so that was pretty exciting. And look at him now, he's 240 some pounds. As we are on the flight, um, Bebe will be in his crate, which is actually a very large crate for him, so he can move around a bit. Um, and we'll just feed him as he needs to be fed, um, his normal, you know, bamboo and all of the other apples and carrots and sweet potatoes and things that he wants. Um, and then eventually he probably will do some sleeping on the plane too. I know from the other uh, folks that took the other pandas back that they do sleep a lot, so that gives us a little bit of rest and we'll just keep checking on them throughout the flight. So I'll make sure that he adjusts well in his new home and I'll talk to his new keepers and tell them all about Bebe and what he likes and what he doesn't like and the fact that he likes to climb and you need to be careful because he, he will get out of an enclosure if you're not careful. Down this way, all the way. Good job. I get to have a little bit more time than my coworkers do, so they have to say their goodbyes, but I get to put that off until the end. And I think, I think there's gonna be some tears because, you know, to, to leave him in a new place is, you know, although I know he'll be getting great care, it's just sad. Yeah, so he's trying anything to get this last piece of apple. What can we do? Oh, you're gonna talk now? Was that him? Are you talking? Yeah, that was him. That little squeak? Mm-hmm. You can talk? Oh. <laughs> You're so cute. You really want this apple? That's a good boy. 